we head to spain hoping for some new things first things first we have a dev point for mick we're gonna throw that into his let's go with breaking because i know our car's brakes are kind of a touchy subject right now perfect our new side pod is complete we have spain in 11 days so if we make four of these rushed we could have we could have well we're not gonna have them all already honestly we may just be a-okay with this we'll have one done beforehand we'll be able to throw that on pierre's car and we'll just live with it we're gonna keep designing i don't think we actually do have some atr period left so we're gonna go ahead and jump in let's see have we done at least one for everything let's go with let's go with the rear wing because we are still continuing to work on our acceleration and drs speed i know we, ju we just did a side pause so we're going to do another rear wing but we really need to work just on our speed in general so we're going to focus on high speed performance with this five and tens we're trying to make as good an impact as we can here that is going our tour center refurb is completed and our new suspension design is complete so we'll go ahead and jump in here and we will go ahead and make it looks like these are going to be about the same we have 10 days we can get three if we rush so that's what we're going to do we're going to try and get and just make sure we are on the newest version of everything that we can be these are the ones we just started new underfloors on and then these are also in development and so we're gonna have to wait that's where uh we're there in the end i'm not gonna touch the qualifying uh, uh my qualifying streak what does it want just one in the top 12 five times okay i lied we're, we're gonna do that one mainly just because the potential reward is very good compared to the potential loss so that's what we're gonna go for Spanish Grand Prix weekend is here. Let's go ahead and head to Barcelona, Catalonia for FP1. Time to go fast. Mick is going to get a clean lap. Let's go. Pierre likely will catch up to these guys there in the back end. Ooh, actually gets through. Pierre goes purple all the way through. Faster than a Red Bull. We are faster than a Red Bull. Keep this in mind when we move forward. All right. Once again, we are leaving Pierre in. I do not for one think that many people are going to be able to go faster than him. Mick's not far off. My problem is I just don't trust him. And if I'm going to try and save a set of sauce for any of them, that's going to be Pierre. With Mick in ninth, it's like, yeah, he's probably fine, but I'd rather just be sure. Yeah, he, he's getting a lot of really good experience. I mean, he's getting a dev point every couple of races at this point. So, all in all, he's doing pretty pretty good. Uh, I guess we could hop on board here with him. Not that. He's already safe. Mick, alre Mick literally already safe, unless Alonzo jumps. Nope. All right, Mick, abort the lap. Abort the lap, save the tires. Save the tires, save the fuel, save it all. Come in, you're good. Relax. Oh, this makes Q one is a breeze for us now. Piece of cake, woof. Double top ten. It comes through half a tenth or half a second off of Verstappen, which honestly isn't the worst in the world, but rigged. <laughs> Gasly running into a bunch of traffic. Only battle though, so he should still have a pretty decent run here. Yep, one point one point three off of Verstappen. As long as no one bends it ahead of us, I think we'll be all right. We're saving so many tires. We're going to see a soft, medium, soft run here from Pierre with two fresh sets of softs. Let's go, Mick. You are not... <laughs> you can't just say, Gasly's safe, no doubts, and then be like, I'm not responsible, that was all you. <laughs> no, I think he's safe. I think he's safe. I do not think that there's going to be you know, eight drivers who are going to go faster than him. Akon didn't... I couldn't even... Did Akon even go out? Doesn't even look like Akon went out. We only need one, either Alonzo or Kevin to not improve. And Mick is safe, and he's also improving here, so... 
We're gonna let him actually finish the lap this time. All right, Mick, we need it. Let's go! Let's go for the first time like ever. Mick into Q3, double Haas Q3, let's go. Oh, that's the first time in so long. That was, that was my call and I accept our responsibility. <laughs> we'll hop on board. We'll hop on board with Pierre just because he's going to give us our probably our best chance at uh, at the, our best start. So regardless, two in the top 10 is going to be fantastic. Let's get this bread both Mick and Pierre here around Spain. This is going to be very interesting. We've shown very, very good pace so far in qualifying and around this circuit. So I have good things in mind for Pierre. Probably yellow flag. Norris? Norris spinning. Uh-oh, that's going to ruin all of their laps. If we can improve all the way around here, we could be, this could be huge. Norris locking up turn 12 could have ruined every single other person's lap. Oh the, oh, the possibilities. The possibilities. We'll hop on board here. Around the last chicane. Good exit. Across the line. P3. P3. Nor here. Conspiracy time. Norris bended on purpose to secure a front row start. We're starting that rumor right now. Lando crashing on purpose in Spain to preserve a front row start. Very uh, George Russell-esque in Brazil. I think we have, I mean, we're going to have to take a look at this. I think we're going to have to, someone's going to have to take a look at this, but a second row start for Pierre and a pretty good result for Mick for being honest, starting P8. Oh, the soft medium soft is an option. And guess who saved two sets of softs with one Pierre Gasly. That's right. It's us. I mean, we're just chilling. All right, we're going full attack. I normally don't go full attack, but we're going to go full attack. They'll both end on the soft tire, which I like. And we could potentially, because I know this is going to be a used set of tires, potentially trying to extend this second medium stint as long as possible. Um, should it arise. All right. Everyone cross your fingers. Knock on some wood. We've had really good starts the last two, count them, two races. And we've managed to bin it uh, off the rip a couple of times. So we're doing everything we can to not do that. But for this right now, is this is it's it. The Spanish, Grand Prix. the Spanish Grand Prix. Let's get and this bread. Out, and and away, away we go. go. You're going to be stuck on the outside going to turn one, which may not work in Pierre's favor here. But Mick potentially getting the move done on the Ferrari. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, potentially on a Red Bull as well. Oh, Mick is on a tear? Oh, Mick is flying? We're right up Pierre's gearbox already? Oh my god. What tires have we got? Some softs, some mediums, Bottas on used softs, Perez on used softs, Sainz on used softs. The two of us are the only one, or uh, Pierre's the only one on... Alright, lap one completed. Alright, Pierre, get this move. Get this move done. Make it stick. Yes, sir. With an overtake. Whoop. Whoop here. All right. Make the move stick. If you're going to do it, make it stick. So you're the ladder of the black cat and a broken mirror. Stick on my luck. Yes, sir. All right. Pierre, make it stick. All right. DRS will be active. Let's disappear. Oh, Mick. I'm trying to make it a one two for Haas. Hey, yo, Pierre track limits. Facts. I'll say, Pierre, let's go. Let's disappear. All right, we've broken DRS to. Woo! Lando just fully sent that one right down the inside of us right there. All right, Mick, just hang on. McLaren, gain a position. All right, Mick should be able to. Just get dragged along right now. Pierre off to the races, literally. And I think we're gonna kind of chill. We're gonna chill out. We used a lot of tire. We used a lot of tire to do that. We're gonna see how Pierre's pace goes when he's off on his own again. 
and Mick should I'm honestly totally happy with Mick just getting uh, dragged along with uh, with DRS here he shouldn't fall out of too much touch with everyone else and it's a Haas 1-3 right now with almost two full seconds ahead to the leader so we I don't say that's about as good a start I think as we can ask for here Woo, Mick Oh, hey, yo, Mick. Hey, yo. Getting very friendly with the, uh, with the grass there. Yes, we, we know Lando is not mixed race. Well. I mean, so yes. <laughs> so yes. Yes, he is. Easter eyes on the tires of everyone else. It's Botas and Perez that we need to worry about. Yeah, Pierre is in his own race right now with Botas, Perez, and Sainz, but he's going to have a tire advantage over all of them for this whole stint, which we love. Mick, I'm on again. I'm totally cool if Mick just wants to get kind of pulled along with Lando here, be able to save uh, save fuel and save tires, just kind of doing the Spain thing. And the medium tires, I'm hoping shouldn't be too much of a problem for Pierre on the softs. Retro, welcome in. How's it going? You're watching a Haas masterclass so far and I knock on every wooden surface I can find. He's been, he's been bamboozled. The bamboozled has become the bamboozler. Or the bamboozler has become the bamboozled. Say that the other way. Let's see. Ooh, poor K Mag. 2.3 seconds off the pace. You know, as long as these, uh. Mick! Get back on the circuit, Mick. Mick, get back on the circuit. Mick and Kevin! Mick and Ke Kevin! Kevin! You're, Kevin, you, we know you're not a. Oh, and we don't even get to see it. You can clearly see the contact there. That caused a lot of damage. <laughs> Kevin, jealous. Jealous that of Haas. Was a bitter blow Kevin is jealous of Haas, and, and so he destroys really our race. Their overall chances. Oh my god, we were running in 1 3. Double podium incoming. <laughs> Kevin, open your eyes, man. This is why, legitimately, this is why we got rid of Kevin. Kevin bins it in the, <laughs> the worst times. Retro, sorry you had to come in literally as soon as I started yelling about Kevin Magnuson. You're managing Haas too. That's awesome. How is your save going? I would love to know. I haven't met that many people who are actually doing Haas, so I'm very curious about how it's going for you. This is horse shit. This is the worst. I will be filing... I will be filing so many instant or I will be filing so many, so many, whatever. I don't even know. I, my brain isn't even working right now. This is, this is slanderous. This is a conspiracy against Haas. And I won't stand for it. I will not stand for it. Just started. So I'll tell you how it goes after Bahrain. That's fair. I remember in my first, I don't know, I, I don't know so many, I don't know, man. My brain is, I'm still in utter shock and awe at Kevin Magnuson willingly destroying our race when we have a 1-3 going. To be fair, Mick did just lock up and was definitely going to fall all the way down the order, but still, he could have fought back. How long is the safety car, by the way? A great opportunity to recharge some ERS. Safety car will be in this lap. This is utter bollocks. Oh yeah, that that gearbox is destroyed. What are tires looking like they're actually back on, back on track here. All right, we really need to uh, disappear here. All right, Pierre. Mick has covered for you when you bend it the last two races in a row. It's time to return the favor. 
Let's get this bread, Pierre. Let's absolutely get it. Pedro, let's go. I want to break that DRS immediately if I can. The only way is this soft, medium, soft is going to... Oh, Ricardo, Sonoda, who was it? It was Daniel. Daniel? Oh, there's a spin! Spinning on turn four? Take a look now. Now look at this. Daniel Ricardo involved. Oh, that, that corner is just everyone's bane right now. That was almost some more contact. In the bin. Daniel in the bin. I know. I'm I'm uh I was literally just trying to uh I was trying to break DRS and got distracted by Daniel. I know. I just, I was really just worried about breaking DRS more than anything. And then Daniel distracted me by spinning. Yeah, that's, who said, that's what I wanted. I wanted that nice, big, and juicy gap so that we can push or we can uh, have some good, some good laps in. Because what we're looking at, 11 laps. 11 laps until we pit. Haas leads by two second in history they have never seen before. True. DRS enabled. Doesn't matter to us. We are literally 2.4 seconds up the road. Honestly, at this point, let's just like... Off for Stappen, who's battling Botas. At this point, we are, we're gone. We've absolutely legged it. Over Stappen, in danger of falling out of DRS to one Lando Norris, barely gets it. Just barely. Getting distracted by one Valtteri Botas though. Looks like Alonso's lost DRS, Akon and Tent lost DRS, so a little bit of a gap likely forming here, which is kind of what we like to see. There's no, there's no blagging it. Come on. It's my favorite. It's my favorite saying. It's my favorite. I'm gone. I'm gone. I've legged it. I've legged it. I'm gone. Uh, it's my favorite though. I mean our soft tires are pretty much on brand with everyone else's that's in the top 10 um, And Norris and Verstappen are hopefully going to distract each other long enough I got you I need to drink so much more water today than I already have like I've drinking a lot of water drunk drunken drinking drank a lot of water today But there's always there's always more water to drink all right, Pierre's still holding on to that 2.3 to 2.2 to 2.4 second gap. Love to see it. We did lose two tenths on the last one. Verstappen running in the 21s now. That's not great for the long run. Turn the brain back on. Dude, my brain is just off. My brain gets fried all day at work, and then I try and come on and stream and sound intelligent, and it just that's just not how it works. Vedanta vibes. I mean, he's on his mandatory gardening leave now, so I don't know what you really want from me. Also, Verstappen immediately just put in three tenths on us that lap. So I feel like we aren't going to be in the best of situations here in a few laps. But, you know, we're nearing our pit window anyway, so we're kind of just vibing right now. I have zero doubt that uh, Verstappen probably has the pace to catch us here. I might be okay pushing on fuel a little bit to try and uh, hold this hold this gap as much as we can here. If we can avoid giving these guys DRS, that would be lovely. But they're kind of just gonna be. Uh, hopefully, I would be. Woo! Way to the inside. What was that? That was about as defensive as a line I've ever seen. What a great strategy call from Verstappen there to get out of the way and let Lando kind of uh, get a good run on us. Now only a half second in between us and DRS. I'm going to trust the process. I mean, likely they're going to catch us by the time our pit window really does come around unless something happens. 
yeah this is about to be uh, an actual battle here because they're actually the, the ai is actually smart enough to uh use the main straight to their advantage this is where i was i'm really i'm really missing our opportunity at bringing in our new rear wing we started a new rear wing design right before this that's just i mean it wasn't obviously never it was never going to be ready by the time we got here but i'm excited for it because it's going to put our top speed and all of, like most of our high speed cornering and high speed sets in the top 10 like solidly in the top 10 and so i'm excited for that to get done and so we can try and continue to uh try and continue to be a rocket ship if we can well i say continue to be but continue on our way to being a rocket ship I mean, I'll give it to Pierre. He's on push on fuel, but he's, you know, he's he's holding that gap, you know, as much as he can. I say that as, again, Norris puts half a second on us on the main straight with DRS. Absolutely wild. If we can somehow hold him off of DRS on that next DRS zone, that would be lovely. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. All right, back on board with Pierre here as we are now in a battle. K-Mag just spun in quali. You hate to see it. Yeah, they'll uh, they'll do that, unfortunately. I hope Haas have a nice delivery for 23. Cost laying me down. Rich Energy was better. Dude, the Rich Energy one looks super good. It looks really good. That, I'm a huge fan of black and gold as a color scheme. As you can see from... Well, I'm normally wearing a black and gold. Well, I guess this is still technically a black and gold shirt. It's just normally it's a black on... It's a gold on black, not a black on gold. But I'm a big fan of that color scheme. And so I remember seeing that and I was like, ooh, big fan. Oh, the defending from Pierre. The absolute Chad. Defending with his life. We near our pit window here. I know, I saw that too. I would I would loved the golf livery. I didn't see it live, but I, I remember when I uh, saw it just online, I was, I was so good. Those golf colors are just, they're so good. I'm wondering if golf will end up with another team. I feel like it makes sense for them to be somewhere in formula one i'm curious to see if they uh sign on with a different team or if they're just kind of taking a break at this point Ooh, around the outside back to the inside back to the outside i guess i'm interested in the other team to be honest that, that was the weird one. I'm, I'm really surprised that they uh, that they didn't continue. I'm wondering if it's just a money thing or a results thing or or what, because I don't I don't see it. Mercedes has Patronus, true. All right, Pierre, let's get it. You're going to mediums, my friend. Box this lap. Box, box. Ferrari has shell, true. Yeah, that's that's really true. I'm I'm really surprised. Yeah, I'm really wondering. I'm, I'm wondering if it was McLaren that's uh, that might have indicated that they were thinking about going a different direction over Gulf themselves, Castrol or whatever. Yeah, they have. Yeah, I, I don't know which one it is off the top of my head, but it's something like that. Ooh, very wide here. We're in, in the box. Bunch of new mediums down the down the pit lane. Love to see it. Where are we gonna come out? Come out in front of the Williams, please. Thank you. Unfortunately, Danny not performing, which probably meant they missed their sponsor goal. Yeah, that's uh, that's probably true. Actually, yeah. I N P nine still semi within a pit stop, I believe. 
24 said yes we are within a pit stop of the leaders we're stapping pits i feel like that's a really early stop for the medium runners i'm not gonna lie that feels like a really early stop come on get out in front of us tapping yes huge huge Norris still not in the box all right we are in theory a net 14 seconds wow we are in net p1 after after our first stop so provisional lead let's go Norris in the pits it's gonna be tight i mean he's gonna come out probably like right on us if i had to guess their goal was p3 in 2021 to finish p4 and their goal this year was p4 they finished p5 so yeah that's true oh yeah out in front of norris and norris comes out behind verstappen so that's less than ideal for them norris is going to be itching to get by uh max here all right looking good looking good after the first set of stops i want to know i really wish this didn't always pause i wanted to see all right so the mediums are what is that math four four tenths faster than the hards and they're only going to slow down as the race goes on go to team principal <laughs> only has one driver in the race and can focus all of his attention on that one driver all of a sudden starts making decent uh, strategy calls who would have thought thank you alban for the drs we will appreciate you holding up those behind thank you very much is that a new race position for Haas? it is it is a new race position for Haas. <laughs> yeah mick retired literally lap three whatever it was and so we can literally just focus our all of literally all of our attention on one pierre gasly for the rest of the race for the next 40 laps and we don't have to worry about the other guy the problem is we were on pace for some really good double points and so that really sucks that mick is out unfortunately it really does suck we were on for a really good day and k mag had to come and ruin it for us Sector two, who's in the bin? Verstappen? Verstappen in the bin! Oh, he's in the bin! Sounds like a spin. Let's have a look. We're Verstappen, washed, just retired. Oh, Albon! Albon putting on the pressure! Oh no! Verstappen washed, retire, old man. And the, team had the guy who's like 23 or whatever, however old he is. Verstappen washed, and Albon still in front of Norris oh they're oh they're in the mud they're in the absolute dirt we ran um, two seconds faster than Vettel that that last lap those hard tires are starting to fall off immediately K mags by our the revenge by k mag true how I single-handedly destroyed an, <laughs> an F1 team. All right, Pierre, we, we do need to be uh, overtaking here if we can. Go around the outside if you need to. I, I don't care. with an overtake beautiful beautiful oh what a day another driver now in between us and lando exactly what we need to see and what we love seeing Lando does have better tires than us but that's not gonna matter in the end things are going beautifully sorry let's go so right now we're sitting p4 we're p4 in the championship right now um we should should have been like p3 but with all of pierre's mistakes the last few rounds it's really cost us a lot of points but mick has kind of stepped up and gotten points where he can in the meantime in emila when pierre crashed in the wet leading by four and a half seconds i'll say it again um mick ended up scrounging out p8 
And then in Miami, when Pierre crashed out from being in the lead by a few seconds, uh, Mick got P5 and Pierre scrounged up P10. So we've gotten decent points on some some really just unfortunate situations, but we really should be battling for a lot more than this. Is is basically what we're uh, what we're seeing. This would be a beautiful result should things hold here as we near the midpoint of this race. Lock on finally in the pits. And now we begin. Everyone has stopped at this point. I'm gonna remind you that I told you go for age over youth. You I mean you're not wrong. I mean I'm not gonna say you're wrong, but I'm thinking longevity here. Come on. Like Pierre is gonna develop into a huge component here in the future of Haas. And Mick, in like a decade, is going to be world champion as we potentially send him away for a little bit and then bring him back. It's just one of these things, you know. You just got to keep it loosey goosey. We got to we got to move and accept where we where we can and what you know. We accept our our faults and mistakes. Not that I've made any. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole thing. We have to be as, as uh, positive as we can be considering the way the season started and how it's gone since then. We literally started on the podium in Bahrain and it's been P5 is the closest we've gotten back since then. And that was with Mick, so it's a whole thing. All right, I really got to pee. I'm bumming this down to, to one times. British, you're in charge. I will be right back. <laughs> I come back to just don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. Yeah. Can't manage my own team, does it? I mean, it works. It works. I'll compensate you in entertainment. Thoughts? It, I mean, it works. Whatever you did, it works. We are halfway through the race now. You managed. You managed a few laps. It went well by the looks of it. We have no complaints by which uh, of by which the team was managed in my absence. You want the rear wing of your car that you win your first race with? Honestly, if you want our first win, you only need to go all the way back to Baku in season two when K-Mag uh, won in a, in a shocker of a race. So we've already had our first win. We're just saying. Perez locking up the Red Bulls. Red Bulls in the bin. Oof. Oh, he almost went right back onto Verstappen there. You see that? So close. I'm sure we can find that rear wing somewhere sitting around the uh, the warehouse. A K-Mag part? How much duct tape is on it? I mean, just enough to... It's like, uh, who was it? Sonoda in Baku this year? It's, I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's just duct taped up. I mean, the DRS doesn't work on it anymore, but it's a rear wing. Dude, look at the Red Bulls just in the mud down here. P8, P9. Honestly, the Ferraris also. P5, P7. Their reign of terror is over. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> All right. We're just saying. If you want our, now we're talking about our first win this season. You know, we'll see where uh, we'll see what happens here. But we technically have already had Haas's main and win in F1 in a shocker of a race last season in Baku when our car was not that good, to be honest. Like Stroll, Lamau gets strolled. Just get absolutely strolled. Imagine getting bullied by two Williamses. That's just what happened to Stroll right there. No. 
the team are really disappointed with that. Let's I mean, they should be. They, they, they just got strolled immediately. Everybody on track with mediums. That's about right. You dislike stroll. I am not a huge stroll fan either. Like he's not a bad driver, but I don't like it just because his dad owns every team that he's like driven for. So that's the reason I don't like him. <laughs> you should have snatched Lewis before he signed with Aston. I did think about it. Honestly, I didn't realize that his contract was up. I don't think I looked. I think I was pretty locked in on on Pierre with uh, some big old tunnel vision eyes. Honestly, depending on how this season finishes, we may move Mick off for a year, nab Lewis for a year, and just see what happens next season. If we can convince him to come to Haas next season. Because I guarantee he's on a one-year contract with Aston Martin at this point. I guarantee it. All right, what are we looking at here? What is that? Seven, eight laps? seven and a half laps until we uh until our next pit stop lando is catching up let's see if we can put in a decent lap here boltas is crushing george russell here as well yeah go pierre let's push that let's push that gap back up to uh to two second slots Botas has had a really solid start to this year back in Mercedes. George has not been able to uh, say the same. Sector two, a Ferrari. That looks like a Ferrari. Leclerc, running wide. Signs, Carlos. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh, what a move. You'll never see a move like that again. You'll never see a move like that again. That's the fastest lap. That boy, Pierre. That a boy, Pierre. You know, I've never actually listened to Let's Go Lando yet. I've heard so many memes about it, but I've just never actually done it yet. Optics excitement in this game baffles me. It is always a little, it does feel a little uh, misplaced, that's for sure. Like nothing, like it can't always be that exciting, right? It's a tune. I've heard it's decent. Just because of TikTok, I've heard Super Max like way too many times. I'll say that. I do I do need to listen to it. I mean we'll do that I mean I'll probably I might I might listen to it at the start of Monday, do a little reaction to it or something. Throw it up on YouTube or something. Whatever it's copyrighted. I have no idea. Forty-three of sixty-six, twenty-three laps remain. We are, in fact, just a few short laps away from our next pit window. We are loving life. Things are looking pretty, pretty clean as right now. For Sappen took our fastest lap. We're gonna have to remember that. You say you'll listen to it just to start your day. Sure, yeah, that's exactly what I said. No, I said I, I I said I might listen to it at the start of my stream on Monday. Yeah, Monday. I don't know why I question that. I just start my stream on Monday, and then nab it or throw it up on socials or or something. YouTube. Stick to my jazz, you do. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I'll just put it on a rotating playlist of just all of the F1 driver songs. I mean, there's only a few of them that I know of, or a couple of them that I know of, and so it'll be a really short playlist. I 
Atlanta's doing some pushing. All right, we have a good amount of tire left here. Let's go ahead and we can uh, free to push, free to push. All right, Lando's doing his best to try and uh, make the most out of the second stint here. I think his name is done some mega berries, Sam Dane. I will, I'm gonna write that down before I forget. Written down, you beauty. And also you got some pit stop boys, true. I have heard of them. I'll definitely be in there. Look, oh, Pierre. Build that guy back up. Five hundredths. Well, no. Yeah. Five hundredths faster than that last lap. Beautiful. Sim Dane. Sim Dane. Correcting. I'm correcting it. Corrected. All right, Pierre. Let's get a good push. Let's get a good push. We will be boxing. Can I wait one more lap? I'm gonna wait one more lap. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. And then I'm immediately gonna go delay one lap. I'm gonna wait one one more lap. I'm mm. no, everyone else is pitting. Never mind. Never mind. We're no longer waiting one more lap. We are no longer waiting one more lap. We are boxing this lap. Gasly's done well. He's done pretty well so far. We are boxing this lap, Pierre. We are boxing this lap. All right. To be fair, okay, in my own defense, I've watched Pierre Bennett twice the last two races from this exact position. So I don't want to hear nothing against. Oh, is it just super clear? Oh, I got what you're saying. Do I need to do I need to implement those that sound effect that's like super realistic knocking? <laughs> that's my bad. I didn't realize my mic would pick it up that that, uh, that clearly. That one's on me. That one's on me. Normally it normally it does pretty well at filtering out background noise, but apparently Apparently not for knocking, apparently. That one that one's on me. That one's that was my bad. I'll take I got that one's on me. That was a million percent on me. It normally does a lot better at filtering out background noise like that. That one I, I get it. I totally understand. That's my bad. Oh my god, I just put a second. What is that? over almost two full seconds all right wait no i can math <laughs> 138 versus 120 never mind all right we're gaining time hand over fist here though could he no he's no there was no way he was on like 50 percent mediums or something there was no shot if he was gonna try and go to the end his mediums would have been destroyed like absolutely a hundred percent just gone nice that's a huge and their use and our tires are going to be better than every single other person because we saved that set of sauce right, yeah that's a use set from lando masterful masterful yeah i would have been super impressed if these people had gone to the end on those if Seb wants to try and go to the end, he's got a bit of a gap. He could still end up in some good. Someone who saved you a set of sauces, definitely. That's very true. We saved two, two, completely 100% brand new set of softs. Not something every team can say for sure. I mean, basically at this point, we just need to be watching those, those lap times. And in theory, 
I mean, our our one lap pace versus Lando is pretty similar. And so as long as nothing crazy happens, as long as nothing crazy happens, what the Akon doing? What the Akon doing? Ben, who's in the Ben? Who did it? Was that a lock up on Joe. The track? Poor Joe. No, oh, Akon and Vettel in. I put in 600 on us that lap. At that rate, he'll catch us by Christmas. Akon is a weird one for me. I totally understand the people who don't like him, but at the same time, I haven't seen anything too crazy to make me go like, "Ugh, that guy." And so it's it's that's a weird uh, that's a weird relationship uh, for me in my head. All right, who are you, Stroll? Stroll, don't you do this to me. Stroll, get out of the way. You met him at Silverstone and he was so rude. I, he seems like the type, the kind of rude rich guy. I'm not gonna lie. He does seem, he does seem like that guy. Thank you, Stroll. The worst behaved of all drivers. I believe that. I, <coughs> I mean, look what he did to Alonzo, his future teammate at Coda this year, in which I saw it in person when he absolutely launched Fernando Alonso almost to the shadow realm forever. I mean, it was, it was not good. That was her, a horrific uh, move. And so that does not surprise me in the slightest, to be honest. Stroll cost us a bunch of time there, I feel like. I don't think Stroll has skill, but he's super friendly and chill. I mean, maybe. I mean, he does okay. Like, every once in a while, like, you'll see him in the top 10, and, like, you'll be like, oh, okay, good for him. And so, I mean, I think he's a classic one of those drivers where it's like, he's a, he's a decent driver, but he's just not... Like, he's not exactly what you want. Smoking Buddy, yes, F1 driver, no. Yeah, I think if you saw him, like, stop driving, no one would be too surprised. Stroll, you holding up Lando for us? Yes, sir. All right, never mind. <laughs> he was, for a second. Sector one, who binned it? Is that a Williams running wide? They've locked up and got I nailed it, Sonoda. Can take a look now. Now, we see the Williams here. Ooh, that's very deep. They won't have been happy about that. Very deep. And that's a lock up. Ocon, locking Let's up. Look. Now have a watch of this. Looks like Ocon. That Ooh. lock up could have cost them dearly. I mean, it's going to cost them dearly. And there goes probably Seb. Probably. Yes, this gap to Lando is looking mwah, chef's kiss. Honestly, once we get down to like five laps remaining, I'm going to drop him down to like light on tires and we're really going to uh, really bring it home. Verstappen still has fastest lap, which it would be nice to not. What is that? 118.88 versus we're running 119s. Man, Verstappen is flying. Oh, the temptation to try and go for a fastest lap attempt, like on the last lap, is there. But honestly, I think I'd rather just secure the win. Yeah, he's running 118s on that one. I mean, he's running one. I mean, he put in a banger of a lap that lap. We are. Honestly, we are in countdown zone right now. Let's see what everyone else is running. 119, we ran faster than Lando. I mean, pretty much, I mean, besides all the people at the bottom, we're matching or beating all the people we care about. That's the only thing that matters. Eight laps remaining, Pierre. Eight laps remaining. Do I dare go for a fastest lap? with Pierre here. 
we do the thing like lap like 65 we just go full send and try and and put one in or do we try and do it like right now and then uh just go for it all right we're going for it this lap we're going for it fastest lap from pierre gasly incoming All right, Pierre, let's see a banger lap. All right, the gap was 3.3 .3 at the start of the lap. Remember that. Only green. fine purple that's the fastest lap baby all right two more laps and so one of the most dominant Haas performances ever the car gasly the wall through the wall endless possibilities true i'll take that wall and put it through that wall and we'll be good to go and then we'll be fine this was good we needed this race we needed this race severely because after very much underperforming for like four races in a row and well we we're very underperforming for four races and severely dropping the ball in the last two we needed this one so bad and pierre like an absolute chad that he is is going to come through and deliver for us as we start the final lap of the grand prix the final lap turn one two three or possibly 2023 champions of 2024 uh, we are now in 24, two, three, four. Yeah, we're in 24. We're gonna win a championship. It is foretold. From zero to hero, from last race to this race, Pierre Gasly is a winner for a Haas F1. Let's Check go. Uh, so very good day for the team. Huge day for the team, Pierre. Pierre Gasly, and today's winner, Let's winner look. of the Spanish is, Grand Prix, Gasly finishes in first, first place. place. Let's go. They, they didn't earn it. They put in an amazing performance today. And ama that was a that was about as a complete race as you can get from a driver. Absolutely smashed it. P1 on lap two, and then led provisionally the rest of the way absolutely beautiful pierre let's go this is what we came to do mick we're gonna have words with the stewards and the fia after this one about k-mag you are definitely there too this should have been a double podium for haas and kevin magnuson ruins that for us but nonetheless looking like some fucking legends absolutely a beaut a beauty of a drive from the frenchman uh, what a day absolutely bang on the money huge a huge day let's go well this weekend Pierre Gasly flew us to the stars. Let's go. The first of many Haas 1 victories for the Frenchman. Let's go. Let's go. What Bringing in that bank. That is on the podium. And a true crowning achievement for everyone involved. Massive. Massive strides were made. Oh, Pierre, get out of the way. 
The Frenchman was in sublime form today, fully deserving of his podium finish here. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, huge. For these drivers, they'll be taking home their trophies and a decent haul of points for their team. DUI. <laughs> True. This is a good result for Haas. More than enough to satisfy the whole team. Massive. Yeah, Massive win. Everything together. We needed this win. We needed this win so badly. And after this result, the team is fourth in the constructor. We're still fourth, but we're coming. For the next Grand Prix, make Let's sure go. you join us at the Renault. And the next is Monaco, which our single lap to our single lap pace is going to be everything. Oh, massive. Absolutely huge. Pierre up into seventh of the drivers. Reintroducing himself. Red Bull in the bin. Ferrari in the bin. Valtteri had himself a good day. But more importantly, we created a little bit of separation to McLaren and put in a little bit of a dent into Ferrari. We have a lot of ground to make up. And we, may have, we had a lot of mistakes on the way here. But by God, we are on the way for sure. 26 points in the bank. On to monaco next mick top that's a tough race for mick that's a very tough race for, for mick just all the all in all 3.8 million in the bank on to the next one it starts here it begins here the first of many wins let's keep going let's keep pushing